Hi, my name is Jian Xiong Chan, and I'm a researcher at the Department of Medicine at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and the University of Melbourne. So today I'm going to talk about a research project that we are doing with collaboration of the, in, with the, the Flory Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health. So this project is on um, a mouse model of both Alzheimer's and epilepsy. So just a bit of background on this project. So patients with Alzheimer's um, are 10 times more likely to get epilepsy. However, the, the relationship between Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy is still poorly understood. Um, and the question remains as to how the uh, pathologies of Alzheimer's disease are able to drive the uh, development of epilepsy. But if we look at it in, in another angle, if Alzheimer's pathology is the major or the main driving force for epilepsy in this patient, then all um, patients with Alzheimer's disease should develop epilepsy at a certain point. But we know this is not true because this is not what is being observed in the clinics where we see a proportion of um, patients with Alzheimer's disease have epilepsy but not all of them have epilepsy. So we thought from there that perhaps um, an additional um, brain insult on top of this pat um, Alzheimer's pathology uh, is required to, um, to drive the development of epilepsy in this Alzheimer's patient. And this additional brain insult can come in the form of uh, maybe a trauma or also uh, like an infection. So this can be reflected in our mouse model with Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy. Um, where we first use uh, Alzheimer's mouse model and this mouse model has a human Alzheimer's uh, pathology and this animal by itself do not have uh, epilepsy or seizure uh, but what we do here is that we we induce epilepsy to this animal with electrical stimulation in a very controlled manner and then we monitor the um, progression of seizure and uh, epilepsy over a period of time just to look at the pattern and then we compare the um, Alzheimer's mice with the non-Alzheimer's mice and to see how the, the progression goes. And what we found is that um, Alzheimer's animal, when stimulated, um, they have, um, have a, a high increased susceptibility for acquired epilepsy compared to the non-Alzheimer's animal. And their seizure progression is much faster than those of without Alzheimer's disease. And, and one interesting observation is that we found high level death in um, stimulated Alzheimer's mice. And this is not observed in um, stimulated non-Alzheimer's mice or um, Alzheimer's mice that are not stimulated. So all in all, um, we, this study demonstrated um, our hypothesis that, that an additional in, uh, brain insult is required for the development of epilepsy in uh, Alzheimer's uh, patient. So it, in this case of the, the mouse model, the, the additional brain um, trauma or, or additional factor could, is the, the electrical stimulation. And this is actually, um, this is not happening in the patient of course because we do, uh, humans don't have, the, we don't need the electrical um, stimulation. but. In the case of patient, it could be a, a trauma and a, or a infection. And an increase in the susceptibility to the acquired epilepsy in this Alzheimer's animal um, is also um, reflecting of what is being seen in the clinic where we have higher, um, higher rates of Alzheimer's, uh, high, higher rates of epilepsy in Alzheimer's patient. So what is more important here is that this mouse with Alzheimer's and epilepsy is a good research model to, to um, to go uh, to study uh, the relationship between Alzheimer's and epilepsy, and in t in the future, this can be used as a like a tool to help to develop a more effective and safer treatment um, tailored towards uh, tailored for patients with Alzheimer's and epilepsy.